Welcome to the USA Luge Indoor Start Training Complex, site of the 2023 Norton U.S. National Start Championships. Today's competition will feature three starts, two traditional and one starting from the start relay gates, seeing the athletes warming up, getting ready for their competition, featuring men's singles, women's singles, men's doubles, and women's doubles. First up will be Tucker West, seeking an 11th start title, which would be a USA Luge record. And here we go with Tucker on his first of three attempts. A strong pull with a 3.29 second finish time. Next up is Matt Greiner of Park City, Utah. Moving up through the ranks on the junior national team with a 3.65 second start time. Junior national team member Aiden underway with a 3.5 second start. Next up is Johnny Gustafson with a nice looking start and a time of 3.45 seconds. Seiya Kobayashi of Japan training with the US team and has been very strong and explosive this summer. Post the 3.37 second time. Gavin Davis of the junior national team underway with 3.65 seconds in his first heat. Hunter Harris making the jump up from juniors to seniors this year. Training in Lake Placid all summer with a 3.46. Chris Mueller, junior national team athlete with a 3.4 opening heat. Junior national team member Delaney Duncan will kick it off for the women's competition with a 3.76, making her start competition debut. Delaney Morrison, another graduating junior, with her first start, and it is a 3.75. 2022 Olympian Ashley Farquharson of Park City, Utah. A little bit, bit of a bobble there with her first start. Macy Shoemaker, another junior national team athlete making her start championship debut. Underway with a 3.84. Summer Britcher, gunning after her seventh start title. Glen Rock, Pennsylvania with a 3.60, giving her a commanding lead in the first heat. Some highlights from the second heat. In the men's race, seeing Marcus Mueller with a little bit of a bobble in his second heat. John Gustafson maintaining solid form. And Seiya Kobayashi of Japan, who will not be eligible for the final standings, currently sitting in second place. And Tucker West on the road to that record 11th start championship title. The women's competition, Summer Bricher holding first place with consistent form. Elena Morrison, the junior upstart, graduating to the national team, holding second, just in front of Ashley Farquharson. Here are our men's results. Again, keep in mind that Seiya Kobayashi will not count for the final standings. And in the women, Summer has a solid lead. It's tight between Alana and Ashley with our young juniors holding fourth and fifth. Here we are in the reaction start with the men. This is Matt Reiner underway. The 4.58. Next up is Gavin Davis. Another junior athlete. Gavin with a 4.65 second heat. Next up is an out of place Marcus Mueller. Following a slight error on his second start. Back in it with a 4.29. Aiden from the junior national team. Solid with a 4.47. 
Hunter Harris. Waiting for the gate to open, and he goes. A little bit of a right direction. Here's Johnny Gustafson, who has competed on the World Cup regularly and is a 2022 Olympian. Seiya Kobayashi of Japan. Keep in mind, this result will not count towards the overall standings. Underway. 4.21. And finally, Tucker West going for it. And he's got it, his 11th consecutive title. Congratulations, Tucker. And we're jumping right into the women. With Delaney. Apologize that we missed Macy. And here we are with Ashley Farquharson on her final run, trying to move up the rankings a bit. Very nice, very smooth, controlled, 4.61 seconds. Elena Morrison with her final attempt. Nicely done, 4.76 seconds. And finally, Summer Britcher going for title number seven. Great reaction. Strong paddles and a 4.52. That's going to be enough to do it for Summer. Here are men's final standings. Tucker, Johnny, Marcus, Hunter, Aiden, Matt, and Gavin. And the women's Summer, Ashley, Elena, Delaney, and Macy. Kicking off the doubles competition, Sean and Zach, 2022 Olympians. Still relatively young doubles team. Solid first start. Little bit of direction off to the right at the end. Marcus and Ansel looking to challenge Sean and Zach. Coming from the junior national team. A little bit of direction coming off the hands with a 3.43. And Dana and Frank, a brand new team, following the retirement of Duncan Sager with a 3.52. Onto the women with Maya and Elena. Elena throwing in for Rhiannon Weiler. A very solid looking 3.72. Next up is Siobhan and Sophie. World Cup medal winners with 3.71. A little bit off, I would say. Back to the men for Dana and Frank. 3.51. Marcus and Ansel. Underway with a 2.41. Now Sean and Zach. Another 2.41. This is going to be a close competition. Here we go with Siobhan and Sophie. And a 3.63. Significant imp improvement on their first run. And Maya and Elena. So they're just a little out of sync, 3.70 seconds. They're not an experienced double steam. Now we're moving on up to the reaction start. Uh, 4.52 for Dana and Frank. Next up is Sean and Zach. Underway with a 4.37. This is gonna be very close. Come Marcus and Ansel. Underway. Paddles to settle. A little bit drift to the right. 4.40 seconds. Our final competitors. This is Elena. Along with Maya. With a 4.81. And now Siobhan and Sophie. For their final start. And final start of the competition. Away they go. And it is a 4.64. The tie-breaking procedure in the competition dictates that the first or second heat is the tiebreaker, but there was a tie in that, and so it had to go to the reaction start, which made Sean and Zach the winner. In women's, Siobhan and Sophie, Maya and Elena. Let's hear from our winners. It went pretty well. You know, could have been better, always. It was really good to see the younger athletes pulling some fast starts, and Saya, you know, from the Japanese team, really going at it today. It's it's really good to see and it's nice that we have some younger athletes coming up who can, you know, have some strength. Tucker, uh, history run today. 
all-time start championship leader for USA Luge. How does that feel? <laughs> um, yeah, it feels great. Um, my body's held up long enough for that to happen, so I'm very thankful for that. Uh, the training's been going well this summer. Um, we're kind of in a weird part of our cycle. This is an earlier start champs than we would usually do. Uh, so it feels good to pull a personal best today. Hopefully there's only more upside as the training season keeps going. Okay, and uh, I'll ask you guys both the same question. Thoughts on the upcoming season? Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this upcoming season. Um, obviously we're gonna have a lot of fast starts this year. Uh, summer training's gone really well. Everything's gone according to plan. And I'm very confident in our technology program this year. Uh, I think we've made a big jump forward. So I'm excited to see where the results land. Johnny, do you have anything left to say? <laughs> did Tucker I mean, say it at all? He wrapped it up pretty well. Uh, the <laughs> only thing I would think I would add is, you know, it's going to be great to be back in Lake Placid for the start of the World Cup season. You know, we haven't raced here in a number of years now. So it's going to be good to be back in a you know, home World Cup. Congratulations to you both. Thank Thanks. you. Okay, Siobhan and Sophie, how was it today? <laughs> it felt great. We threw down two runs. First one was a bit slower, but then the second one we picked it up and we threw down some good reaction starts today. I'm very proud of our performance. And how were those in terms of personal best and where you are referencing throughout? I know, I know we're in a weird part in the season, but how does it rate for your personal bests? Our uh, second start was a PB. That was uh, personal best by two hundredths. That's so, significant. Yeah. <laughs> First one was a bit slower. We were missing a little something in the pole, but to finish with a PB was great. And Maya and Elena, that was... Uh, that was pretty pretty great performance considering <laughs> that you're not truly a double team. Yeah, I'm really proud of how um, we have really uh, improved a lot since our first start a couple weeks ago. So <laughs> yeah. um, being able to do a new PR uh, during the race was really nice. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun experience uh, to fill in for Rhiannon who couldn't be here. Um, but I learned a lot from the experience. Perfect. Dana and Frank, your first competition together. How was it? Uh, it wasn't wasn't our best showing. We had we've had better starts in the past, but we are a very new team, and it is it is nice to see that we can be uh, competitive if we we try a little harder. Frank, uh, yeah, like like what he said, uh, new team, still getting the basics together uh, with us being being new and, and not really having a lot of experience together. So this result's not bad, but definitely can do better in the future. Okay. Boys, Ansel, Marcus, how was it today? It's pretty good. Yeah, uh, it's nice to be competitive. Our uh, first star comp, so yeah, I think we did pretty well. Personal bests? No. No, not <laughs> yet. Yeah. We were close to personal bests. Definitely a fast time for us, but not quite there. I would just say for uh, the older boys here, uh, watch out. <laughs> And the older boys. How does that feel? <laughs> it's weird to be called that now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the first start wasn't what we wanted, but we were pretty happy with the reaction and the second start. And it was nice to be pushed by these guys. But yeah, that competition makes us all better. So we're looking forward to the season. Yeah, and how, just speaking generally to, you know, to all of you, and feel free to jump in whoever wants, I, what's it like working together so closely? I think Doubles has a good history of, of, of really teamwork pushing each other anybody have any thoughts on that jump in right. yeah exactly it's really uh, <laughs> it's really good to push each other i mean that's that's the biggest thing is that we all push each other we're all getting better so um yeah it's nice to all be competitive definitely. yeah it's it's really great to see young bucks like marcus and Anton <laughs> yeah. coming up now i mean they really pushed us we had a small mistake in that first run and we needed to get a really good reaction to beat them off, but it was it was close the whole way, and yeah, it was it was a really good race, and now we continue into the winter and hopefully have more of that. All right, congratulations. Okay, Elena, a good day overall. How did it feel in singles? It felt great um, to pull my PR twice in a row. Um, was very exciting, and I am proud of the improvements that I've made over this summer. Ashley, how was it? It was pretty good. My first one wasn't my best, but I was able to get it back for the second two, and I'm happy about that. And Summer, congratulations. How Thank was you. it? How did you feel today? I felt pretty solid. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with my results, and I've been working really hard, and I'm excited to see um, how that pays off once we get into the World Cup season. And we were talking a little bit about the doubles guys pushing each other. 
do you have the same relationship here in the start house and in the weight room and doing everything that you do? I think so. Yeah, yeah. It's not point. It's to oh, okay. at anybody. <laughs> yeah, I think we have a very supportive team environment, and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can do um, once we're competing with the rest of the world. Anything to add, anybody? No. I, All right. I'm obviously new to the senior team, and so um, I felt very welcomed. Oh boy, and we're supported. trying to make her not feel welcomed. So <laughs> <laughs> No, but they have pushed me this summer and I appreciate that. Best of luck and congratulations.